49ers versus Eagles week is off to an absolutely phenomenal start. Monday's not even over yet, and we've heard from Hassan Riddick. We've heard from Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, and A.J. Brown on a lot of this trash talking that's been going on back and forth. Obviously, it started this morning with Hassan Reddick. I'll show the clip at the end, but let's catch up to right now what's going on. Uh, A.J. Brown, uh, who, as you know, is the Eagles' star wide receiver, just tweeted this out not too long ago. What he says is he calls all of Eagles fans, the entire Eagles fan base, he calls for them and says, it's troll Debo Samuel week. You have my permission. Honestly, touche. Touche, AJ Brown. Touche. And I'll tell you why touche. Because these guys are boys. Um, if you didn't know, actually, Debo Samuel and AJ Brown both came to visit the San Francisco 49ers on the same pre-draft visit. I also believe in Keel Harry was in that group as well. And I think that's where their friendship really got started. But they've been friends, you know, in the NFL for a long time uh, since they entered the league. They were in the same draft class, all that good stuff. Debo got drafted just a little ahead of AJ. But AJ Brown has gone on to have a phenomenal career. They have the same agents. Um, so they're, they're very close. That's why I think this is hilarious, um, considering, you know, the the trash talk that has been had, you know, like Debo Samuel calling James Bradbury trash. And then what came out today was he doesn't regret any of those comments, which why would he? Um, but this comes after Debo Samuel's comments today saying that he doesn't regret any of the uh, comments he made in the off season. And so AJ Brown comes from the top rope calls for all Eagles fans to troll Debo Samuel this week and gives them permission. Um, good move. I, I, I feel like this is something that I would do to one of my friends if we were on opposing teams and we had a game uh, against each other especially of one of this stake so you know what this is this is good fun uh in my opinion i got no i got no problems with this this is uh it's actually low-key hilarious um to get all the eagles fans all riled up and in debo samuels mentions um i'm sure debo samuels mentions are just an absolute disaster right now literally as i'm making this video just got a notification from bleacher report reposting uh this troll job um <laughs> literally just dropped it um so uh <laughs> it's, it's a good week already man it, it's a phenomenal week as we get prepared for 49ers versus Eagles, the talk has been, like I said, it started this morning. It, technically, it started last night after the Eagles beat the Bills. Hassan Reddick was already being asked about the 49ers and giving sound bites. And again, if you missed it really quickly, it's right here. This is what he said earlier this morning. The 49ers, now, I know you just got done playing, but... You know, they've been a lot of talk in the, in the offseason about what happened in the NFC Championship game last year. How much of that has stayed in the back of your mind ahead of the next week? You know, as this season been going on, not much. Talk is cheap. You know, they get to come back in the link. It was a lot of boo-hoos last year, a lot of crying, a lot of what if, a lot of this, a lot of that. They get a chance to come back in here, line that up and prove it again. So, again, a lot of this game and the lead up to the game has been about the talking in the media you know whether it was Debo whether it was Ayuk whether it was Reddick whether it was Slay that's been a big part of the narrative a big part of the storyline is about the communication that's happened through social media and all that stuff that's why this is kind of funny to me um that aj is kind of hopping on board and being like you know what eagles fans go get this guy go fill up his mentions and <laughs> just go talk mad mad crap to debo samuel uh that's low-key hilarious um 
I, and I respect the move. I, I'll be honest. I respect the move um, as a competitor, having fun with one of his boys. Uh, I think it's I think it's really funny. <laughs> so we'll see how Debo Samuel makes it through the week, getting absolutely trolled into oblivion by Eagles fans. And again, like we talked about it, he's back in the headlines for again not really saying anything, but the fact that it was brought up, like, oh, well, how do you feel about your comments about Bradbury calling him trash? And he's like, I don't regret anything that I say. So, of course, that's back in the news cycle, and that's back at the forefront of everyone's mind. It's going to be a good week. This is going to be a phenomenal lead-up to this game, and I really hope it doesn't disappoint. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I want both teams healthy. I want conditions to be fair. I want full strength. I want this to be a no-excuses game for either team. I don't want the referees to poke their head into the middle of this and make bad calls on either side. Like I want this to be as clean and organic of a game as possible with no injuries, no weird things, so there's no excuses on either side. I don't want woulda, coulda, shoulda on either side. From Eagles fans, from 49er fans, I want to come away from this game and being like, all right, we either won fair and square or we lost fair and square. That's what I'm looking for. Um, So hopefully that's what we get. And if we get that type of game, I would imagine it would be one of the best games of the year, if not in recent memory. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Let me know what you guys think of all the talk, all the comments. Let me know what you think of what A.J. Brown had to say of Debo Samuel. Do you think Debo responds? I really don't think Debo responds. Um, I honestly don't think really anyone is going to say much of anything the rest of the week, I think the most we're going to get is Debo saying Debo Samuel saying he doesn't regret saying what he said earlier this offseason. Brandon Ayuk's kind of been like, man, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about playing this game. So we'll see if we get anything out of the Eagles camp the rest of this week. But I would imagine it's going to be pretty quiet with the San Francisco 49ers. But you never know. You never know. This is turning into a big, big rivalry. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates. This question. So Brandon, I come out and say he did. When he said he said that they was going to get exposed. The, the Eagles defense. What was he saying about yeah, that? Where, where's the holes? <laughs> yeah, right. Where are the holes? No. There's, there's, there's holes. No, the holes? holes? It was some the wide open end. plays now. The back end. You got the all pro and the all pro. The D line make him all make make both of them all pros. You know, so besides yeah. Slay, I respect Slay. What about Bradbury? Dog. Trash. Bradbury trash. Ooh. He didn't want to. He didn't want to make. Did you see? Did you see the play that Brandon had? The second play of the game, he got hurt. Purdy got hurt. Wait, time out. The separation, like it's just like it's football. You gonna make some plays? Man, you call him trash.